Well, welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. As we've been documenting this year, a lot of companies out there have been dealing with supply chain issues. We, of course, just heard a few weeks ago from Nike commenting about supply chain issues over in Vietnam when it comes to uh, pumping out shoes there. Of course, the pandemic has hit labor, not just here in the U.S., as people stop going to work, but also true across the globe. And that's creating quite a bit of problems when it comes to shipping as well as every piece of the supply chain. And for more on a closer look at that, I'm happy to bring in Yahoo Finance's R.T. Swaminathan, who's bringing us some interesting charts that document it, R.T. Yeah, so Zach, we've been uh, talking about the supply chain issue, but for me, I'm, I'm a visual person. I need to know what exactly is the crisis, right? So we got this note from HSBC that basically laid it out for us. Container shipping. Ocean trade is one of the most important parts of global trade. And we have this chart from HSBC that just shows a huge pileup at the ports in California. So if you look at this first chart, and I know, Akiko, with your conversations with the Los Angeles and Long Beach port officials, we know that there is very, very strong demand for goods. The volume of goods traded from Asia to North America in the first seven months of this year is 1.3 times the same period the year before. And because of that, in the second chart, you will see container fees have increased like crazy, right? HSBC said at the time of writing, which is yesterday, 66 container ships were waiting to unload cargo and 30 more were waiting at birth. So the waiting time for these ships to unload has gone from less than two days generally, which was last year, to over 10 days. It's really interesting because I'm seeing these delays affect uh, some of the people on my Instagram, you know, beauty influencers complaining about not getting their pigments, their makeup on time. So it's really affecting everything. But the third chart I want to show you is about trucking delays because we cannot forget this country is huge and we depend on trucks. But yesterday, one supply chain expert told the morning show that there was a labor shortage here in the U.S. when it came to trucking. Here you can see how truck utilization is at around 100%. So these three charts, I think, make it very, very clear to me how constrained this environment is. That's pretty fascinating. I mean, when you break it down like that, I mean, you, you see these kind of uh, problems at each point in the supply chain. It all kind of uh, creates a cascading effect here that, that a lot of companies are trying to get ahead on. 